We're gathered here to dedicate the Science Center to New London Hall, the first new academic building on campus in 17 years. This is a proud moment for our college. We stand here today in full view of a building that we completed in just over 15 months. It was built in 1915, so it's nearly 100 years old. But this is not really a renovation. This is actually putting in a whole new way of looking at science. I want to acknowledge a truly visionary leader, Gene Temple, <laughs> including Gene, or Judith Ammerman, Susan Lynch, Judy O'Patrony, Helen Matheson, Mary Lake Poland, Francis Gilmore Pratt, and an alumna who chooses to remain anonymous. The Sherman Fairchild Foundation made a transformative gift to the Science Center, the second largest foundation gift in the history of the college. When a school is supportive and loyal with your goals and your dreams, it's important that you return that loyalty. We think this is a tremendously exciting platform to take the students forward who are doing advanced research with these professors, and we think it's going to be tremendously exciting for our students going forward. The hallmarks of this building, I think, truly do express the education we support at Connecticut College with collaborative learning in spaces that support the very finest curriculum. I think it's a really great place to learn and work. I've had meetings here, I've done homework here. It's wonderful to, to be able to work in here. In the research spaces that we have as faculty members is just such a great improvement over what it was before. The faculty and the students are really not separate and this building supports the ability of faculty to have ways of teaching students that don't involve sitting in a classroom and that's the future of this building.